today, the new OCS is the biggest FM platform. The trends and challenges that you are looking at currently. Technology first is still not ready for our kind of business. Digital transformation is tapping into almost every sector of construction industry, including FM. Global system and help from local system of uh, uh, e-learning platforms. everyone, welcome to our very first episode of CBNME Connect, a video series launched by Construction Business News Middle East, where we will be speaking to some of the biggest construction giants in the Middle East region who will be tapping into various sectors in our industry. For today's episode, I have Mr. Rollin, who is the CEO of OCS Facilities Management, APEC and Middle East. So thank you so much, Rollin, for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. How are you? How is Dubai treating you? Good. I'm, I just arrived in Dubai. Yeah? So, I landed yesterday from Saudi. Wonderful city. I love being here. Great. So, um, let's talk about you. How, uh, what's your experience? How have you positioned yourself in the industry and at OCS? So, I've been in the industry since 2020. Uh, before that, I come from investment firms and uh, private equities background. So I joined the industry towards the beginning of COVID, which was a very interesting period. It was a period basically where there was a big shift in the way uh, customers view the facility management business. Uh, so very interesting period. I started with a company called Italian initially, which is one of the French giant in, private equity, in uh, facility management. Um, Italian uh, acquired many businesses in the region especially in Asia, they bought almost 49 companies. So my role was to go there, restructure the businesses and prepare the businesses to be sold to CDNR, which is private equities that own today our business. And CDNR at the same time bought a second company that is called OCS, which is British originally. That OCS invested in Asia and the Middle East many, many years ago. Huh? So they have very well established businesses. So. My role for the past year was to merge these two companies together in uh, APAC and the Middle East. Today, the new OCS is the biggest FM platform in the region. We are the only companies that cover 12 countries, most of Southeast Asia, Middle East and Pacific. Um, we, have very, we have almost 80,000 colleagues and, and employees in the region. And in terms of uh, businesses, we cover all the spectrum of facility services. When it comes to facility management, there are a lot of things that we need to cater to, um, starting off with some of the trends and challenges. So what's, what are some of the trends and challenges that you are looking at currently and uh, what's your take on that? I would say the biggest challenge in the coming five years is manpower at the level of the site it's becoming more and more challenging to, to, to find. Why? Because we are competing with the tourism industry, with the construction industry, with other industries. So it's becoming more challenging to find people. At the same time, customer, government, because they are aware of this, they are pushing also the facility managers to move a little more to digitalization and robotics. Now, COVID was a good period to start pushing for this. Huh? But unfortunately, technology first is still not ready for, for our kind of business. And even if it exists, it's still not commoditized in the sense that it's too expensive to do, to, today to implement it on the site. How to find the balance between technology, manpower, and to find the new way of doing FM, no? because it's a new way, it's a new business model, basically new value proposition to our customer, and to be the first one to implement it. This is the biggest challenge if you, the companies that will find the key huh, to unlock it will be the most successful. So you, you spoke about technology, you know, uh, digital transformation is tapping into almost every sector of construction industry, including FM. Sure. Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah. Facility management, by the way, is a very uh, broad word. Huh? It includes many, many services. There is basically no limit to the services we do in facility management. But if you want to summarize it in the main services, no? You have two types. No? You have soft services and you have hard services. Both are somehow different. No? In soft services, 
the new trend today is there is nothing anymore to protect in buildings. What is there to protect today? It's the data that is sitting, and this data is not sitting on the premises. So the security in the future will change. One example of trends and, and technology, how to mix both services together. No? How can we offer a complete solution in security that is adapted to the trend of the market? Second, AI play a big role. No? Cameras no? that are controlling a site more intelligent. So you need to have a smart camera that will capture only relevant information and send it. And also to be able to manage the load of data that's coming. These are technologies we are looking in, we are implementing already, especially in education and in very sensitive uh, sites. Other trends in the other part of soft services, which is cleaning services, you know, industrial cleaning. What you are trying to do today is how to combine manpower and robots on the site. You know? And this, we are using a lot of IoT sensors. In hard services, we need also to find a way. Most of the factories, buildings are becoming smarter, which means we are, we are receiving, there are a lot of sensors everywhere in all the machine, and the cust our customers are receiving much more data. If we have access to this data, we can use it properly, we'll know better how to uh, improve the maintenance of these machines, to make sure they are always working on the optimal level of energy. For that, also AI play a big role. Huh? How to collect better data, how to be able to, 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 to see the trends huh? in the repair of machine and the maintenance of machine. How is a sustainable facility management taking a turn mm -hmm. um, and revolutionizing the entire industry? And what is OCS uh, doing to take hold of that stack? In terms of environment, <coughs> we are the only facility management, by the way, uh, that have the first carbon neutral company, which is in New Zealand. Uh, so we gain a lot of experience how to calculate our own carbon footprint in the business. And lately, because most of our customers, by the way, we've been working with them for 20, 30 years, uh, we have an amazing relationship, a trust relationship. And we are there on the site, so we know their site, we know their building, their facilities. We are the best place to, to come and help them to measure first mm. huh? and trace all their carbon footprint and the, the environment impact, and how to also give them some recommendation how to improve it. So we've been trying uh, to accompany, uh, to accompany our, some of our customers in this journey. But also on the environment, what is very important and what we are doing today is first in terms of procurement. We are making sure all the chemicals that are being used are environmental friendly you know, and are not harmful for humans and the environment. Most of the cases we are trying also to implement some new technologies on the side with some of our partners where you don't even, even need to use chemicals. You know. mm -hmm. We are working a lot on the, on the environment side. On the social side, we have a lot of workers who are coming from difficult situations. No? So our job is also to protect them, to make sure first they are paid on time. It seems ridiculous, no? but it's something extremely important. It's something a lot of companies don't do. Mm -hmm. We make sure there is never a delay in the payment of any one of our staff in the company. This is a golden rule in our business. No? So then we need we are doing a lot, but we need even to, to do more huh, and be better. How to train these people cont continuously and give them opportunities to be able to move up, have better roles. Huh? A lot of them are extremely smart, have a lot of um, uh, potential. We need, our job is to identify the potential, give them the proper training and move them up. Then on the government, uh, governance part, we work also in very difficult countries. There is corruption, there is yeah, all kinds of uh, practices. So our job as a global company, we always make sure there is nothing illegal and unethical, not only illegal, unethical that is being practiced in our business. And I think it's extremely important. This, how we are operating, this is also the customer we want to have in our business. How is OCS actually taking efforts to retain talent mm -hmm. and to uh, you know constantly provide them with substance where they can educate themselves mm -hmm. and grow we have glo some global system and we have some local system of uh, uh, e-learning platforms 
where we always are pushing content on, uh, on, on the platform. And so most of our staff have an access, have mandatory courses they need to take related mainly to safety, related to the company, uh, related to what they are doing on their job. But also we are pushing more and more content for other stuff. Some countries can be something very simple like English courses. Other countries, it will be a little more uh, advanced, like we can talk about ESG, for example, give them some courses. We can give them some courses on operation, you know, the different belt you have. Um, so uh, we are doing a lot, huh? but once again, we are trying to, we are working a lot at group level, at regional level, to create more content, to push for more uh, training courses for the people. But training is not enough. Huh? We need to give them opportunity to grow. Otherwise, they will go elsewhere, even if you train them. So the growth of our business is critical. Huh? The more we grow in our company, the more opportunities we can give to people. And the more uh, uh, we can also serve better our customers. One very important point in facility management, I mentioned about growth. The target customer we have are usually, once again, massive premises. It's not everyone who can do it. It's easy to go and hire people, but mobilize a team to take over a massive site is much more complex than people think. You need to go and source the right people first, do security check on them, train them, do proper induction, go and, uh, make sure the site is compliant in terms of health, safety and everything. It takes time, it takes a lot of money because you need to finance this. So not all the FM companies huh, have the power, financial power and scale that we have to mobilize people as, as OCS. Huh? And lastly, can you give me five words which will describe the disruption in facility management? Five words? Yeah. Manpower, technology, governance in ESG, value proposition, people. So thank you so much. It was lovely to have you. Thank you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I think everyone uh, of our audience is going to really like this side mm -hmm. of OCS, your point of view. And uh, it was lovely to have you. Thank with you. Us. Thank Thanks you so much.